All right, we're going to move on to Mary Upchurch. Um, our featured performer tonight is a Phoenix-based comedian. She performs at clubs and festivals all over the country. She was Big Pine Comedy Festival's Best of Fest. In 2019, she was placed first in Arizona's Funniest Person with a Day Job contest. Too sad I missed out on that one. And she is the host of Wings with Friends podcast. She has a special with Dry Bar Comedy coming out this spring, so be on the lookout for that. So please welcome Mary Upchurch. Hello, hi everybody. It's so nice to be here. Thank you so much. I'm very, I'm very excited. Um, this is fantastic. It, it feels really good to be in a room full of like so many strong and powerful women. This is fantastic. It, it kind of reminds me of the beginning of that movie, Wonder Woman, you know, where like she comes from an island full of just like really strong, powerful women. It really makes me think like, what would I do if I lived on an island just full of women? And I, I don't know, what would I do? I mean, I would guess I would just like go outside at night <laughs> or like, you know, like not walk anything <laughs> or like maybe not have to put my keys in my hands when I walk to my car. I don't know, dare to dream, okay, dare to dream. Um, Thank you so much. I am so happy to be here. I've been working from home for the last like 18 months or something. Like it's been, a are you guys working from home too? Like I presume, yeah, thank you. Yes, Catherine, I'm she says, she says yes. Um, I don't, I can't tell. Like I thought working from home was gonna be really great. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's terrible. And I just, I don't know. I can't get my mind around it. I guess the, the best part of working from home is that I finally know what it's like to be the prettiest girl in the office. <laughs> I'm, I'm also the smartest um, uh, and I'm the office bitch, um, but I finally figured out who's been stealing my lunch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess the downside though of working from home I, I think is that I'm sitting all day long. You know, they say sitting is the new smoking. I'm up to a pack a day. It's not, it's not good. Um, yeah, it's bad. No, my new work clothes. I went shopping for new work clothes. It was just compression socks. Um, Cause things are swelling. Not other good places either. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I didn't know I could hurt so bad from just like sitting all day long but uh, I'm falling apart, you know? Everything hurts now. This morning I had to use my back massager to massage my back. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I've been working from home. Um, sometimes when I'm working from home, I like to listen to the, the TV and I, I hear this term a lot because I listen to a lot of news and I hear this term a lot. I hear people like saying, um, use this term, they're like, hard-working Americans and I'm like yeah yeah that's me like I'm a hard-working American yeah and then I like jiggle my mouse so Microsoft Teams stays green <laughs> and like you too <laughs> yeah um but I think we use this term just like a little too loosely okay because like sure I get it there are hard-working Americans out there there's nurses there's teachers there's construction people like I get it there's people who work hard but like I just I don't know any um including myself because like I know this sounds harsh but bear with me here because it's like I know we do important work but like how hard do you really work you know like like this, uh, this is what I did today. Uh, like it, it's pretty much my work consists of this, like sitting here. <laughs> in front of this <laughs> like we have important work, you know, like we do important work, but like, can you drown at your job? Like not paperwork, I'm talking actually drowning. No, no, come on. Like, have you ever seen a millionaire with calluses on his hands? No, they won't let me get near one, but. I can imagine those hands are baby soft. Did you know like in China where they make our iPhones, like the work is so hard, the conditions are so bad. They had to put nets 
around the building. So people would stop jumping out the window and plummeting to their death. They don't get an HR department. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you. These are just jokes. Okay, you guys don't get, don't get upset. I'm a comedian. Okay. I'm not unlike some of you, I'm not bound by the truth. Okay. I don't, I don't have to, these are lies. I mean, they're bedded in truth, but like, I'm, what, I'm not a lawyer, okay, or a politician. Like, I don't have to tell the truth. <laughs> um, oh, I had another thought about this. Um, have you noticed like the gun people, like the really excited gun people? They have like this weird, like, oof, like, oof, you know, something with guns. And they're always like, oh, I'd like to see a motherfucker try. I'd like to, I'd like to see you mess with my family. I'd like to see you mess with my kids. And it's like, really? You want to see somebody mess with your kids? Like what? I would rather somebody mind their own business and not mess with me, you know? Like, it's just like this weird fantasy. It's like, nobody's messing with you. Knock it off. We're still working on that one too. There's, it's got legs, it's got legs. Um, speaking of legs, um, I, <laughs> Um, I am still single. Uh, you guys, people have names for girls of, of my shape and you can't see me, but I am of the, the curvy type. You know, I'm, I'm, some people call, like to call me like, thick or curvy and like my pronouns, like I just go by, my preferred um, adjective, I just go by hot. Okay. <laughs> and I just think, you know, like us hot girls, we need, to, it's, it's time. We need something of our own, you know? So like when we see each other in like a room, I can be like, Hey girl, Hey, I see, I see you. You know what I mean? Because like other, you know, like maybe just like a button or like a secret handshake or like a union, I don't know, something simple because other groups do this. They have this a step. Okay, I don't know if you've seen this, but like um, people on motorcycles, what do they do? If you're on a motorcycle, you pass another motorcycle, what do they do? They're like, hey, hey, bro, hey. right? It's kind of hard to do sitting down, but they're like, hey, hey, I see you, right? You've seen this? Nod your head if you've, you might, I don't know, you don't know ride motorcycles, but Jeep people, Jeep people too have like a wave and it's very similar. You pass another Jeep, what do they do? They go, yeah, it's like, hey, I'm a Jeep person too. Um, it's really nice. Subaru owners, they too have a wave when they pass another Subaru. It's very subtle. It's very simple. It's kind of like the Jeep wave where they're like, hey. <laughs> I don't, I don't. It's very exclusive. But you know what? I just think us hot girls, we need a wave too. And I propose, let me see if I can do this on Zoom. I propose something subtle, like just like a little, like a little. Okay. <laughs> it's just a little subtle. Don't be gross. Just the cutlet. Try it. It'll be like our universal. You can take that to the Senate. I think it's time. No, you guys, my dad was divorced. He had four kids. He needed some help. So he put an ad in the paper and poof, my mom arrived like a Mexican Mary Poppins. Maria Popeños, at your service. Yeah, instead of a spoonful of sugar, she'll give you some Vicks Vapor Rub and put your butt to bed. She's got frijoles to make for tomorrow. And you know she kept her frijoles in a recycled Cool Whip container. That's why we have trust issues. There's nothing worse than going to the fridge in the middle of the night and you're like, Ooh, cool whip. Like, ah, oh, beans. <laughs> Mama, no. I think she was doing a little more than just the laundry because nine months later, I arrived. It worked out. It worked out for everybody, you know? She got her green card. My dad got a lifetime supply of tamales. <laughs> they're still together. So, you know, take that. Um, yeah, let me tell you. Having a Mexican mom, it is really good when it comes to dinner time. It is not good when it comes to when I was a kid and I needed help with my history homework. Cause this was, this was 1987. I couldn't ask Siri. I had to ask Sabina and I'd ask my mom. I'd be like, mama, mama, I have a report. I have to do it for school about the presidents. Who was JFK? And my mom would be like, 
John F. Kennedy. He was the most handsome president of all the presidents. And he and Marilyn Monroe, the gingy lingy all over the place. And his wife, Jackie, no like it. And the mafia, no like him. And they shoot him and they kill him. And I will smell they all dead. I failed history. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me be here. My name is Mary Upter. Follow me on Instagram. Thanks for the work that you're doing. Good night. <laughs>